What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here. This is going to be part three of my warning to all silver and gold buyers series. In this part, we're going to talk about taxes on precious metals and how the IRS is coming for a piece of your profits when you sell your gold and silver. All right, let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. As I start off this video, I have to make a disclaimer that I'm not a tax advisor or a tax professional. I'm just another dude here on YouTube that loves precious metals. So this is not financial advice. This is not tax advice. If you want tax advice, you need to contact your own tax professional. That being said, I also need to make a disclaimer at the start of this video. I pay my taxes, okay? All of the taxes that I have to pay, I pay them. I'm not happy about it, but I do it, right? I'm not happy, Bob. Not happy. And in this one, we're going to be talking about selling your gold and silver for a profit and the taxes you're supposed to be paying on those profits. Now, before we get into that, I just want to say that when you sell your gold and silver, whether it's at a profit or a loss, most of the time you're going to walk into a coin shop with your precious metals and walk out with cash. And no one is going to know that you made a profit or you didn't make a profit or even that you sold anything to begin with. So it is on you to report this information to the IRS, okay? That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm not telling you what you should do or what you shouldn't do. I'm just telling you that you are supposed to report this information, okay? I, I don't really know what else I can say about it other than that. So I guess you can draw your own conclusions. And would have different conclusions written on it that you could jump to. That is the worst idea I've ever heard in my life, Tom. But let's read what they say here in the SD Bullion blog about selling your precious metals. And then I'll give you my opinion on all of this. So the start here, selling silver gold tax implications. Often misquoted or misunderstood in the precious metal industry, maximum long-term capital gains taxes on bullion and or supposedly physically backed ETFs are at a 28% rate. So this is either on physical bullion or an ETF. Now, I just want to say that if you are investing in a supposedly silver-backed ETF, this rate, you're going to have to pay this rate, right? Because you're going through, you know, some app or some website. I don't know if you're using, you know, Robinhood or TD Ameritrade or whatever it may be. They're going to have all your tax information. You're going to pay this rate, period. Okay, 28% if you make any profits. All right, let's move on. But the specific tax rate at which you would get tax on profitable bullion sales will depend on your particular tax bracket as well as other factors involved. Okay, how to sell gold without paying taxes. So this would be gold or silver, and there's really only one way to do it, um, I guess, above board, legally. Get ready for SD Bullion's Monster Box sweepstakes that includes 500 silver eagles. You could be the next lucky recipient of a phone call like this. This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of Silver Eagles. So click the link below for your chance to win. Uh, other than front-loading your tax payments to begin a bullion investment by using a Roth IRA, current rules are if you sell your bullion at fiat currency prices higher than your fiat currency cost basis, then the IRS is going to demand a portion of those fiat currency capital gains in the form of capital gains taxes. So, of course, this is only on your profits. And then they say, of course, <laughs> you could avoid paying taxes if you sell bullion at a lower price than your original purchase price, resulting in a capital loss. By doing this, you could be then allowed to deduct up to $3,000 in losses against other taxable income. 
So, yeah, I mean, I guess if you lose money on your precious metals, then theoretically you could claim these losses. So you could use this to your advantage, but you are telling the IRS, hey, I'm involved in precious metals and things like that. So use that information uh, however you like. As well, if the loss you have on a bullion sale is more significant than $3,000, US dollars, you can likely continue to deduct those additional losses in subsequent years. Um, okay, so yeah, maybe if you lose you know, 10 grand, then for a few years, you can count the losses. Of course, for specific tax guidance on bullion sales profits and or losses, you should consult professional tax counsel as we are not tax professionals ourselves here at SD Bullion. All right, let's keep on scrolling down. So right here, it says taxes on silver gold bullion, regardless of whether or not a purchase or sale is private or IRS 1099B reported. Currently, no bullion product sales are exempt from any applicable capital gains taxes, state or federal laws. The only exception right now would be selling approved IRA approved, I don't know why they say approved twice, bullion products within your IRA. For that, other rules will apply and vary depending on if your bullion IRA is a Roth or traditional, etc. Always consult your tax professional, etc., etc. So this part right here, regardless of whether or not you have to report it with the 1099, and I did talk about that in part two of this series, where if you sell a lot of bullion in certain categories, you're gonna have to report it to the IRS with a 1099B. But regardless, whether you report it or not, maybe you just sell a little bit, doesn't matter. Currently, no bullion product sales are exempt from any applicable capital gains taxes. So this means you could sell silver bars, silver eagles, constitutional silver, gold bars, gold eagles, it literally doesn't matter. Any silver or gold that you sell and you make a profit on, you're supposed to pay capital gains taxes on that profit. Now, you're only supposed to pay that 28% tax on the actual profit, right? So if you buy a gold bar for, let's say, $2,000 and you sell it for $3,000, well, you only made a $1,000 profit and the 28% would be $280 that you're supposed to give to the IRS. Money isn't real, George. Doesn't matter. It only seems like it does. All right, now let me give you my opinion on taxes in regard to gold and silver. And so far, all we've covered is federal tax. We haven't covered any state taxes. You know, my state has no taxes at all on any purchases. There's no sales tax in a few states across the USA, but mine is one of them. And so when I buy gold, silver, anything, a car, food, it doesn't matter. I don't pay any sales tax. And then when I sell my gold and silver, I don't have to pay any state taxes, but there might be some states out there that you would have to pay taxes in. And I think that's absolutely absurd, but you're gonna have to do your own research on that. All that I really know about and all I've really researched is federal taxes in regard to selling gold and silver. But when you sell your precious metals, in my opinion, you should not have to pay any tax, okay? I think this is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, all you're doing is converting real money, right? Gold and silver to a currency. It's not really like you're selling a stock and making a massive profit off of a stock. It's not like that. I mean, they treat all gold and silver as if it were just a collectible. They don't really see, you know, bullion as being bullion, so it's weird too, because they make their own bullion, right? They make gold eagles, they make silver eagles, and they're like, yeah, go ahead and buy them. But hey, if you make any profits, you're gonna have to pay taxes on them. It's just money. It's made up. Pieces of paper with pictures on it, so we don't have to kill each other just to get something to eat. So I think it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't think you should have to pay any taxes on your gold and silver sales. But currently, that is the law, and I'm just putting information out there. I'm not giving you advice. I'm not telling you you should do one thing or not do one thing. I'm just telling you this is the way that it is. So I am curious what your thoughts are on taxes in regard to precious metals. 
If you have any comments, put them down below in the comment section. If you want to watch my other two videos that I made in this series on mandatory IRS reporting, feel free to check those out. I'll put links down below in the description. I want to say a massive thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.